Hey guys, and once again, welcome to the hobby room or the hobby dining room at this point. Um, the white room, that's right, we're calling it the white room. Uh, you know, every now and then some of these videos where I wanna do a hard focus on something, uh, it's a little bit easier to do it in the white room versus, you know, my cluttered workshop. Uh, but we're working on it, we'll see how it pans out over time. Um, and we'll take it from there. Now, most of you guys or the guys who follow me know that I've already done a quick video on the Stadium Blitzer. Uh, I totally lucked out. I bought this thing online, sight unseen, and we all know that it's built on the Falcon chassis, which is effectively made of peanut brittle. So nine times out of 10, when you buy one, uh, it's crap. It's, it's just crap. I completely lucked out. I bought the example that showed up was in fantastic condition from the box to the vehicle. Uh, I did a light restoration on the vehicle. I didn't chronicle it because really it needed so little that it wouldn't have made for a good video. Um, now I did some light disassembly and some cleaning just to make sure that everything, you know, looked nice and shiny and in fantastic condition, which it absolutely is. So I, I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. Two things that I do want to bore you with, and um, thing one, the wheels. These wheels had gone yellow, as so many of them do. So I tried a trick that I heard about on the interweb, and we all know how most internet, you know, tricks and tips go, and they, if they work, they work marginally. Um, let me tell you what doesn't work marginally. Hydrogen peroxide on white nylon. Guys, these wheels were yellow. They were aged beyond the beyond. But I saw Ari over at RC Retro used it to um, do his RC10. Now, I didn't go through the same process that he did. I used a slightly different process. And I'm sure that, you know, the other guys have used it too, but wow, I am blown away. The only tip that I can give you guys in return is baby steps. This whole process to achieve this white was probably, I'm gonna say maybe three soakings at five minutes per soaking. And what I would do is I had a cylinder that I filled with hydrogen peroxide, um, soaked each wheel one at a time, five minutes, banged it in the sink with cold water, went on to the next wheel, you know, times four, assessed where I was, decided I wanted more, another five minutes in, another cold water rinse. Decided I could go just a hair further, so I did like another three minutes and then a cold water rinse. And once again, folks, those wheels are perfection. There is not even a hint of yellowing. So you're talking about a total of 13 minutes worth of soaking. Uh, now I know Ari mentioned a method of putting them in a pan, covering it with foil, setting it out in the sun, letting it bake. Um, I'm sure that's a just fine method of doing it. I simply found that I didn't need to do that. I did this on my kitchen counter. I just dropped apart. I did this on my kitchen counter and within a short period of time, I was all the way done. So what am I gonna cover in this video other than telling you about the virtues of using hydrogen peroxide? Well, two things. I have a favor to ask of you guys. This vehicle is gonna be a shelf queen for me. It's never gonna run. Uh, again, it's a Falcon base vehicle. I have my faith. You could fit my entire faith in this vehicle's strength into a thimble. I'm absolutely certain that the way I run my vehicles, I will have this completely broken and destroyed and shattered inside of five minutes or one battery pack. There are absolutely no cracks in the chassis. I visually inspected everything to the nth degree. And in fact, I even went so far as to put a little bit of lubricant on each screw as it went back in so that the friction of driving that screw in wouldn't split the key points here at the front and the back of the chassis. Now, with that having been said, there's one tiny crack 
And if you guys have a part, please, I will buy it from you. This rear shock mount right here, this long cylinder, which is a part of this rear bulkhead, has a tiny crack. Now, once again, this is a shelf queen. This will never be on the ground, even though I bought brand new tires and everything else. Um, this will never be on the ground. So it's not expressly critical, but I'd like to know in the back of my neurotic little head that it is 100% perfect. And that little tiny little split, and it's not even affecting, I'm sure I could drop some cyanoacrylate in there. And uh, I even thought about sleeving it. I even thought about taking a piece of brass and sliding that over the top of the plastic, which would keep it from, you know, opening up anymore. But you know what? If one of you folks out there has the exact right piece, I will happily take it. So that brings me to, you know, this antenna is right in my face. That brings me to the next part of my video. I showed you guys last time the body that the gentleman had created for this thing. Now, how in 90s is the spider web paint? I mean, I gotta, I gotta give it to him. All told, and you can see it next to the box art, all told, it's a cool body. And there's not a rip, there's not a scratch. It's never been upside down. I think he painted this and shelved it. But it's not box art, and I'm a bit of a box art snob. So I had to go and do a thing. I'm gonna move this out of the way. The thing that I did was procure a brand new body. This is a Team Blue Groove body. And a set of decals. Uh, these are from MCI. Now, folks, I can't even tell you how long it took to get this body and these decals. And it's not, it's not MCI's issue. It's everything to do with the post between Canada and the United States. These decals took on the order of five weeks to get to me. Um, this body actually came out of... Um, the body came out of Belgium for some reason. So that took the better part of two months. And that's, you know, hence the gap between the two videos. Uh, so really what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and do up a fresh box art body, lay it onto my absolutely perfect stadium blitzer, and that'll be a job done. And that'll be another one on the collection. So um, I guess I don't know if I'm going to do this as two videos or if I'm gonna to try to edit them together. Uh, but either way, uh, if you're watching, who knows, this might just go and have a new body or this might just be the end of the video and you'll have to catch the body on the next one. But either way, uh, look forward to seeing you guys soon.